Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video. This is Diamine Inks Comparison number two. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first ink is Diamine Peach Haze. So let's do an ink swatch. So this is very similar to uh, on the previous inks comparison video that I did, which is uh, Diamine Coral. So we'll do a slightly saturated more over the top. Now, I would say that this is a little bit more of an orangey ink than Diamine Coral. So this is Diamine. And it's Peach. Haze. But this is actually quite a nice, very sort of faded, sort of pastely, peachy, hazy ink. The next ink is Diamine Wild Strawberry. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a very, very lovely red strawberry colored ink. Second pass. But this again is one of my favorite Diamine inks. I do like red inks a lot. Uh, and I do like Diamine Poppy Red, but Diamine Wild Strawberry is another red ink I like. So this is Diamine Wild Strawberry. But that is a beautiful red ink. The next ink is Diamine Merlot. So this is more of a sort of wine, red wine colored Merlot ink. And it's an ink that I got because I do like wine and I do like red wine. But it's just an ink that I haven't used a lot, and I think it's mostly because I tend to like the more brighter red inks and not the darker red inks. So this is Diamine, and it's Merlot. The next ink is Diamine Autumn Oak. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a very autumny sort of colour. And you can see it actually goes on quite faded towards the bottom. This very much reminds me of Noodler's Apache Sunset, but maybe not as bright and vibrant. So this is Diamine Autumn Oak. So if you like to match your ink colours to seasons, then Diamine Autumn Oak would be a really good ink for the autumn months. The next ink is Diamine Blaze Orange. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is certainly high up there on my favourite orange inks. It's not quite my favourite though. But it's actually quite a good orange ink, although I'll show you in a moment that a lot of orange inks will go a little bit crusty on the rim of the bottles. So that's just something to bear in mind. And that also means that if you leave the ink in your pen, then yes, it can go a little bit crusty on the nib and feed. So this is Diamine. And it's Blaze Orange. But that is a very, very nice bright orange ink. The next ink is Diamine Sherwood Green. I'll do an ink swatch. 
and you'll see here it is quite a dark green it's also a little bit more on the drier side as well I do find do another pass here there you go so this is diamine and it's Sherwood green And this is typically a green that I want to use a lot. Um, I don't, though, uh, because I do find it quite dark in a lot of nibs. The next ink is Diamine Amaranth. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this, for me, is a really lovely pink. A little bit more saturation there as a second pass. Now, for me, it's not really necessarily a hot pink, but it's getting there. And for me, I do like writing with this. I ink this up in my Davina Metropolitan. So this is Diamine Amaranth. But you can see that if you like a pink ink, this is actually quite nice. And then the final ink on this video is Diamine Bilberry. Now, this cap was almost glued on, and you can see the amount of sheen that you get going around the rim of that bottle on Diamine Bilberry. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is actually quite a nice sort of blue ink it's a dark blue and it is high in dye saturation so it can sheen quite a bit as you could see from the rim of the bottle there so this is diamine bilberry but this is another ink that I like using a lot from Diamine. I do typically try to avoid sheening inks in a lot of my more expensive pens. However, I do actually put this in some of them because uh, it's a really lovely coloured ink. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first ink is Diamine Peach Haze. This is a really lovely, bright, peachy haze of an ink there really isn't any shading going on you can see a slight difference between a wet and a dry nib but it is actually a very muted more pastely colored ink the next ink is diamine wild strawberry and this does have quite a bit of shading going on here around the pulled areas again you can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib um, Neither of these inks have any kind of sheening going on. The next one is Diamine Merlot. And you can see here there is quite a lot of shading in the pulled areas. And there is a lot of difference between the wet and the dry version of the ink. The shading doesn't really show in the writing sample though. It's pretty more of a matte sort of finish. And then the next ink is Diamine Autumn Oak. And you can see here quite a lot of shading going on between the pooled areas. The wet and the dry looks really two different color inks completely. Um, you do kind of see the shading a little bit more in the writing sample there. But neither of these inks have any sheening properties either. The next ink is Diamine Blaze Orange, and this is a really bright orangey ink. You do get a huge amount of shading going on here, and you can see it a little bit more in some of the writing sample there. You can see there's very two different colors between a wet and a dry ink there. There's no sheening properties, though, of that ink. The next ink is Diamine Sherwood Green, and again, this is a massive shading ink. Now, you see a huge amount of difference between the pooled areas here. Now, you actually get a light color here, and then almost like a bluey green here, where it's more saturated, and then a light green here where it's more dry. But this is a beautiful ink. 
Again, no sheening properties though to that ink, although I think it wants to... No, actually, I am seeing a little bit of sheen around the pooled area here. I don't know if I can show that on camera there, but it, I am seeing that there. It's only subtle, but it's a little bit of a red sheen going on. The next ink is Diamine Amaranth, and you can see here that there is some shading going on, although there's not a lot of difference, and a wet and a dry nib, the sort of ink looks fairly similar, I would say. But if you look at the writing sample here, this is the ink that I really do love looking at when I'm writing. And then the last ink is Diamine Bilberry, and this is a blue ink, and uh, <laughs> it does... I'm trying to, I want to say it does have some shading, but I'm having difficulty seeing it because of the immense amount of sheen going on there. If you look at that sheen, that is a sheen monster of an ink. Uh, this is why I do like Bilberry. Um, I don't actually get it. Actually, no, I am getting it in the writing sample. I don't know if I can get that on camera, um, but it really is a beautiful ink. Uh, so... I do love inking up Diamine Bilberry, but you do have to be careful, like with most sheening inks, that you will find that it's a lot more difficult to clean out a pen. So you want to try and avoid putting it in celluloid pens. Uh, you also want to try and avoid putting it in some demonstrator pens as well. So that's my Diamine Inks Comparison number two video. If there are any inks that you see here today on this video that you like, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other Diamine favourite inks that you have, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Diamine Inks Comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.